You stand at the crossroads between superstition and reality. You are witches. The most upsetting misconceptions are that witches are Satanists and that we worship Satan or the devil. And witches don't have any Satan or any devils or demons in their belief structure. People assume that witches are going to do something bad or wrong or hurt them. I have no desire to hurt anybody. That's not part of my life. Our motto is, as it harm none, do as ye will, which is don't believe in harming any living thing. Uh, witches look like everybody else looks. They're human beings. They're going to have your general yuppie look, your Gucci skirt, your uh, fashion plate, your dungarees. Often, many witches uh, who work in the bank will wear black most of the time, and no one really knows the difference because right now it's very fashionable. Hail Aradia, goddess of the east, powers of air. We invoke you and call upon you. By the breath that is her spirit, send forth your light. We are not in medieval Germany, nor hidden in the bowels of some castle in England. No, this is Woodland Hills, California in the United States. And these are modern day witches. This coven gathers together often and follows the procedures passed down through the ages. Here, they prepare to consecrate the earth, for this is a time of joining, of becoming, and of singing. We all come from the goddess, and to her we shall return. There is so much energy and, and love that goes around, that comes out of the voices, and even those of us who can't carry a tune to save our life sound great. And you just, you feel that, that love there, you know, in yourself and in your friends. That's what, that's what singing does for me anyway. These arcane ceremonies can take on many different forms, but they all share one thing in common, symbolic magic achieved by archaic ritual empowered by modern day belief. The idea of sympathetic magic is that like attracts like, so that, like in our society, we think of money as being green. If you want to draw money to you, you would use a green candle, or you'd make up a little herbal amulet of, of herbs that are associated with um, the monetary planets, like Jupiter or something like that, and you'd put those herbs together and sew them up into a green sack that you would carry with you, and that kind of, that kind of thing. Some modern-day witches argue that ritual needs to adapt to the times, to take on a more contemporary guise. But as in anything, tradition is hard to cast aside. And to some people, the rewards are worth the risks of ridicule. It's something that brings out the best in me. It's really hard to, to describe um, how I feel in Circle and how I feel afterwards. It's, it's kind of like runner's high, <laughs> really. Feel it flowing around through the hands joined together. I think there will always be places where witches are not accepted, and I would hope that the places in which witches are accepted would become larger. Uh, witchcraft, although it's what might be thought of as an ancient religion, is actually very relevant to the present. It ties in very much with the ecological movement, with the women's rights movement, and because of this, it, it's become very, very popular. We are people, we are families, we are men and women and children. The misconceptions go on and on and on, and of course, we take responsibility for that. And that's what we are trying to do now, help people to understand us so that we are not the disposal for the ills of the earth. Because if they're looking for evil in us, they're looking in the wrong place. Witches, echoes of a magical past. 